Hello and welcome to IT Convergence User Productivity Kit tutorial series. This tutorial will cover how to edit decision frames, alternative paths and alternative actions using the Oracle UPK developer. After creating decision frames, alternative paths, branch paths or alternative actions, you may decide to make some changes. UPK developer makes it simple to edit the items, rearrange the order of the items, customize the decision frame headers, or delete the items. To make edits, open an existing topic that contains a decision frame. Select the decision frame and ensure that the frame properties pane is open. In order to edit the decision frame header, in the frame properties pane select the header field. Highlight and delete the text you want to replace. The default text is please make a selection from the options listed below. Type the desired statement into the header field. In order to rearrange path options, in the Frame Properties pane, click in the Path List field. Highlight the path name that you want to move. To rearrange the list order in the Decision Frame bubble, click the blue up or down arrow to the right of the Path List field. There are three ways to delete a path, through the Frame Properties, the Delete menu, and the Delete button on the toolbar. In the Path List field, select the path that you wish to delete. In order to delete the path in the Frame Properties pane, click on the Delete Path button. To delete the path from the Delete menu, click on the Delete menu, then select Decision Path from the drop-down menu. To delete path from the Delete button in the toolbar, click on the Delete button in the toolbar. Select Delete Decision Path from the drop-down menu. Click Yes to delete the path and No to cancel it. If you select the first frame of the path, then select Delete Path from the Delete menu or the Delete toolbar, you will only delete the frames. The end frame will still be visible, and the path name will still appear on the decision frame. To rename the path, go to the Frame Properties pane, select the path name from the Path List field. Click the Rename Path button below the Path List field. The Rename Decision Path window will appear. Type the new path name in the text box. Click OK to save your changes. When deleting decision frame, make sure there are no alternative paths or branches available. Otherwise, you cannot delete the decision frame. You must first delete the path and then you can delete the decision frame. The final remaining path will become the default path and you will not be able to delete it from the path list. At this point, however, you will be able to delete the decision frame. To delete the decision frame, select the decision frame. Click on the delete menu or select the delete button from the toolbar. Select delete decision frame from the drop down menu. Click yes to delete or no to cancel. In order to modify an endpoint of the alternative path, select the last frame of the path. Click the edit menu and select modify endpoint or click the modify endpoint button in the frame properties pane. Before selecting the final frame of an alternative path, the Modify Endpoint options will be grayed out. The bottom will only be available on the final frame. After selecting Modify Endpoint, your cursor will become an arrow with a white E in the center of a black circle. Point the arrow and click on a frame to designate a new endpoint. You will see the path automatically reconfigure. To toggle between the available alternative actions, Select the frame containing an alternative action and click Go to Menu, then select Next Action from the drop down menu. Select Previous Action from the Go to Menu to switch back to the previous alternative action. Only the default action will display in the See It mode. If you decide that you want the end user to view the alternative action instead of the primary action, you can set a new default action. To change this default action, click on the frame containing the alternative action. Click the Edit menu and then select Set Action as default. To delete alternative actions, select Delete in the taskbar, then select Action from the drop down menu. Or you can select the Delete button from the toolbar and choose Delete Action. To note, you cannot delete both actions. You must leave at least one action item. If you decide that you do not like either action, you can either edit the action area or you can delete the entire frame and re record the action. This concludes our tutorial on how to modify decision frames, alternative paths, and alternative actions. 
On the behalf of IT Convergence, I would like to thank you for your time and invite you to join IT Convergence YouTube channel where you can learn more about user productivity kit features and functions. Thank you.